Hi guys, Adam from BC Fig Farm and Fruit Orchard. Today I thought I'd share a quick video on how I overwinter my in-ground fig trees. I have a lot of people emailing me and texting me asking me what I use, how do I preserve them in zone 6B, um, how do they not die. So today we're going to go over some of the in-ground methods that I use compared to what other people use to protect their trees during the winter in northern New Jersey zone 6B. So as you can see on the outer layer of my in-ground fig trees, we have uh, some green tree, breathable, waterproof tree covers that I purchased uh, on Amazon. Uh, they're not that expensive. They're pretty cheap to buy and uh, they go over the fig tree, over your insulation, and they actually protect the tree all winter. Um, I've been using this method for a couple of years and so far it's worked and the trees come out beautiful as soon as the spring starts to uh, come around. Now this year I'm taking a huge chance because normally I unwrap my fig trees around uh, April 21st, which uh, according to the Farmer's Almanac this year, that's gonna be the last day of frost or freeze. But I wanted to get a jump on the fig trees this year to see if I could have an early crop. So I, and it's been real warm lately, so I figured I'd unwrap them. So as you can see, Here's the outer layer of my in-ground fig trees. And I have about 10 on the property that I wrap this way. They look like uh, bodies standing straight up, wrapped. I call it putting my figs in a grave for the winter time. Now, a lot of people use different methods to uh, wrap their fig trees during the winter time. Most people use burlap uh, and tarps and all these other materials to wrap their trees. But I was thinking burlap's not enough in zone 6B, that we've had some trees die in the past and burlap is just not enough for us. So I thought about what we use for our homes uh, to keep ourselves warm during the winter time, such as insulation in the walls. And I said, let me try this method. And this method has been working out really well. So I went to Home Depot and I got some insulation, uh, R19, and wrapped it up and the trees are just perfect this year and I'm starting to unwrap my first tree. And as you can see, I used Home Depot, moisture resistant insulation that I wrap the fig tree with and tie with string. And then what I do is I just come up to the tree when I want to unwrap it and I just start pulling it away. And as you can see, with this fig tree this year, there's no winter damage at all from the snow, the ice, the wind, and the tree has just been preserved beautifully. This is my method for in-ground fig trees. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Taking a quick walk around, you can see I already brought my fig trees out from the garage. I'm taking a huge chance this year of losing trees, trees dying off if we get a cold snap, a long cold snap, I should say. But as you can see, I'm un unwrapping. There's my insulation and my coverings for all my in-grounds. Here's a beautiful in-ground that I got from Tommy LaPiccolo from his grandfather's property in Italy. We're gonna be growing that here in New Jersey. And as you could see, I already brought my fig trees out for the summertime. I'm taking a huge chance this year, but you know what? I think it's not gonna get that cold. We added some fruit trees to our orchard this year. We have a European Italian plum tree, which is just gonna be beautiful. Give us a lot of fruit for plums. And we also added another grafted four-in-one cherry tree, which is already starting to bloom. But as you could see, all my fig trees are out of the garage, out of the protection, out of the heat. And I'm banking this year on having warm weather until May and maybe not too many uh, below temperature freezing nights, below 20 degrees. 
and I'm hoping that we get figs this year real early. Anyway, to my fig brothers and sisters, Adam from BC Fig Farm signing off. See you next time.